Yeah, they, there's uh, there's many things that we can uh, look into this match that are positive. There are other things that we can look into it that we need to do better. Uh, of course, uh, what we're content is of the fact that we didn't concede uh, for the second game. Uh, uh, we defended well. Um, we saw players now coming into the match like Eric Ayala looking good, contributing. Uh, so we're getting players back. Uh, this is very important for us. And uh, we completely dominated the match. Uh, our possession, our shots, our... Um, I mean, the only thing that was missing today, now talking a little bit maybe about uh, the negative, is the goal. The goal today, today we score a goal, and then we're talking completely different about a game that we completely control and play amazing. So that, that's an important part of the game, you know? So... We just have to be better. We just have to stay calm and, and continue to work because the reality is that be, prior to these two matches, we'll be, we've been scoring a, a lot of goals. Um, and, uh, and, and, and the only thing is for us to make sure that we stay focused on, on the things that we're doing very well. Um, and it's definitely frustrating uh, because uh, three points at home were important. Um, and we got to give a little credit as well to RSL. They defended well. They put a lot of numbers. They sacrificed. And they had a very good opportunity, too, that uh, we got a little luck in that one uh, because that's the game the way it is. Even though you control the match completely and you play very well, uh, probably the best opportunity in the game, they, they had it. Um, but uh, overall, I, I see many, many, many positives. And, uh, and the fact that we haven't scored in two games uh, has nothing to do with the fact that... Uh, that you know the opposition uh, play a low block and uh, and uh, you know we have to learn how to break them or you know or it is you know been scoring goals with low block high block uh, middle block uh, side block and with benches um, so it's just about focusing staying calm and and uh, making sure that we continue to get more more players uh, available for us. All right, we'll begin with questions and we'll start with Ryan Clark. Hi, Gio. You mentioned it, obviously. The, the big thing missing in, in this game and then the previous one was, was getting a goal. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think has been the difference in these two games? Uh, you mentioned focus is something that, that was a big factor. Yeah, but I think, I think in this game, uh, the, focus, the focus was there. I think, I think when I look and analyze, and, I, wow. you know, and of course, I, I will go back and, and look at the, the, the game tonight and um, what I see is that sometimes uh, there, there's different factors. I, I feel like sometimes uh, our patience, our, our patience to move the ball might be sometimes uh, a negative. Uh, we do so well moving the ball. We look to control and look to make sure that we can find uh, the open space to be able to penetrate. So it's like sometimes we try to be too perfect and maybe, you know, we have to start uh, throwing balls in behind and, and uh, shooting from, you know, any, po any point and, and be a little bit less patient to make sure that we put more dangerous balls inside that. Uh, uh, and, and then we need uh, maybe, you know, more play um, and, and more presence. Uh, uh, we do have presence, but maybe our timing sometimes, you know, to be able to get there um, is about, you know, just continue to work. But I'm talking about these past two games, because in the, in the, in the past, we've done very, very well in that area. So I think in these past two games, there's been something that we have lacked in that box that could have gave us the possibility to just be, be better. If you go back to, um, it's not that we haven't had opportunities, because in Houston, for example, Jaro's opportunity, it was face-to-face -face with the goalkeeper. So we're creating. We just have to find the goal and, and put it inside the net. Right. And uh, bringing on Zuperich and, and McGraw late, is that just to protect the draw? Uh, no, 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 no. That's no. Uh, to go through in the back, to throw more players forward, to give the chance to Tuilom, another tall guy to be on top. We didn't have taller guys on the bench to put. So we, we would just throw everything forward as we could. And uh, we put three guys in the back. Uh, and then the other the other parties we protect Evan Rankin as well because uh, he's the other player that if he would have gotten uh, another yellow card then we have no uh, you know I mean uh, we will have uh, a missing uh, fullback uh, because right now uh, we don't know if Rasmussen is going to make it for next week uh, Bravo now got the yellow so he's out uh, so we needed to protect Van Rankin so we, we took him out 
Hey, Gio, uh, obviously frustrating going forward, but uh, this was the second clean sheet in a row. Um, I thought that Eva Chich, Mabiala, and Tui Loma all were very solid at the back. Just want to get your thoughts on how you think the team has defended as a unit the last couple of games. We've been very, very good. Um, very good because sometimes, you know, I mean, the first part is how you defend. And I think we've we done it well. And in the moments that require something extra to show up, either Eva Sitch show up or the center backs or the full backs or even the attacking players defensively will show up to make sure that, uh, you know, we don't concede. And that's a, a good sign. That's a sign of a, a team that is uh, invested into, you know, uh, working hard to get a result. And, uh, and, you know, and the disappointing part is, you know, all the things that I'm saying here, we would have scored one goal and all the positives that we'll be talking about about today would have been completely different. And that's the difference between the goal. But a goal is very important in, the, in this game. And we didn't, you know, we couldn't, we couldn't find it today. Any last questions? We'll go to Amy. Hi, Gio. Um, it was hard not to notice Diego Chara missing from today. And I was hoping you would just take a minute to talk about some of the injuries the team's been dealing with and your plans moving forward. Like you said, there are certain players that are questionable for the next match. Yeah, so Diego hopefully can make it for the next match. We don't know yet. Um, we wanted to make sure that uh, he recovered well. He's very important for us. So we, we hope that he can make it. We're, we're not sure yet uh, that he might be able to make it for the, the next match. Um, uh, then the other one is Rasmussen. Uh, he had COVID. So uh, that's why he's not, uh, you know, today available. But he might, with the protocols, uh, you know, in the timing, he might be available to, to start training soon and be able to, to play next week. So, or, or being available to play. Um, I'm trying to think what, who else, I mean, Mora is the other one that is still, um, a, catching up. Um, I think, uh, he's progressing nicely, but it's still, I think, you know, um, by July, I think that's maybe, uh, what we expecting, hopefully sooner. Um, but we'll see, he's already practicing on, on the field, uh, individually. Then we have Tega getting closer, uh, as well. Um, so probably he will play tomorrow with T2. And the last one is um, Gutierrez. Gutierrez had a surgery um, in his knee. So he's, he's most likely going to be available uh, for, for this season. So the, everybody else has been recovering and, and we, we're starting to get uh, healthier than before. Gio, before you guys go to Colorado, you have the PTFC for Peace match. We've talked about it now. It's finally here. What are you most looking forward to on Wednesday to seeing? And what's the significance of it to have both clubs here it's always been one club mentality and really it's all about community and it's certainly bigger than just here in soccer city yeah uh, so i'm looking definitely first for goals in that day uh and a lot of goals hopefully from thorns and timbers and and that is uh you know that it becomes a phenomenal night um it's such a special special event that uh that we're going to be part of because when you have two clubs in in, in a club two teams like the Thorns and the Timbers and be able to be in that moment together, join together to have, uh, you know, that, that wonderful time on the field uh, to, you know, play. And especially for the cost that we're doing it, um, it it's going to be a phenomenal night. Um, and and we, we're lucky to be part of this, this night and, and lucky to be part of this organization.